welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my updated skincare routine because it's been like a year so we're updating it i want to do a more in-depth one i think it's time because a lot of my products did change and it's actually like my solid routine right now this is also going to be am and pm so we're starting off with pm bro i need a pee Okay, first product is this lovely piece of a product. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cleansing Balm. Basically, like, I think a lot of cleansing balms look good. Like, this is my third one of this. But yeah, this was, like, a super easy drugstore one. And, like, it's really good. But a lot of cleansing balms have, like, I don't know the exact name off the top of my head. But I know it's, like, plastic, basically. Because, like, when you rinse down, it's, like, the plastic goes into the ocean. This one, I believe, does not have that. Which is why I like it. And it's also, like, 10 bucks. I've been using cleansing balms and cleansing oils for like three years now. Oil cleansers are just so much better. They take off like all your makeup. Because this is 10 bucks, it's literally such a better alternative to makeup wipes. So, I'm gonna rinse this off. My makeup is off. It's very important to be double cleansing. I cannot see right now. For cleanser, double cleansing is super important. I use this one. There's probably better ones, but this one's like not bad at all. The matcha hydrating foam cleanser from Beat Lab. Just wanna on my face and then my face is still wet also i think that's a good time to like film because i think i'm like it's about to be the time of the month you know let me take this off because of that i think that's why like i'm not gonna say breaking out because i don't think breaking out is the right word but i'm just getting like a little bit more acne than usual i've said this so many times but like i've been taking care of my skin since i was 10 and i'm about to be 15 or 12 i'm just kidding 12. this is the really quick i'm so sorry i'm like interrupting myself paula's choice exfoliate 2% BHA liquid and I use this typically like three times a week three or two I used to not use it at all or because I've been getting a little more spots and stuff I've been using it mainly around my nose because I get sebaceous filaments on my nose and it's not cute I'm gonna show you guys a little bit like right here and then this one I popped yesterday so I mean it's mainly this because I normally break out there every month every time I start you know like the time of the month that's that's a spot, I don't know why. That's why I think it's a good time to film. Actually, why would that be a good time to film? I always forget to say the product first. I really should start gua shaing again. But I've been using this way too much. Like, it's like my favorite thing now for some reason. This, I've only been using it for like two months. I use it in the morning and at night. This is like my skin prep. This is one of the things I do before makeup. I'll explain tomorrow. But like, this is really good. This is the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. And I bought this a while ago, but I never used it because I don't really use toner. But like, that one's really good. But it's just like, calms my face. That's what green tea does. So, okay, and then for my last step, or actually like for skincare, I have two other things I want to show you. But like for skincare, I use the Illyune Ceramide Atto Concentrate Cream. This is like my fourth like jumbo thing of this, and I'm almost out again. I'm squeezing the life out of this. This is like my holy grail. I don't know, I just really like it. I even use this in the summer. I don't know if that was a good decision because it's really thick. For fall and winter especially, like this was a really good one. Personally, for me, it's okay year-round. It's a combination normal and dry, but it's not really oily. For the most part though, I've tamed it to be normal. Not gonna move. So yeah, that is my last part of the skincare. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I'll tell you guys the last two products. Now, my last two products, this is not sponsored, but I just happen to use both of them. I just found this, like, not that long ago, because I lost it, and then I kind of just gave up and I found it. Not even trying to look for it, but it's the Grande Lash Year. Now, I don't really use it on my lashes. Like, I have not used this because, number one, because I haven't found it, but number two, because it's like, because, like, I guess some people like, get rashes and stuff. I did a little bit, like, on my eyelid, and I just stopped using it and it went away, but now I only use it on my eyebrows, so that's what we're going to do. I'm not gonna put on my eyeballs. But I'm so happy I found it. Okay. Okay, boom. I'm still trying to grow them. They were a lot better. Like, I keep saying that, but like. Then next, this is a mini size, but this is the Grande Pout Plumping Lit Mask. And I just take a little bit of this. And I'm feeling fancy. Normally, I just use Aquaphor, but I'm feeling fancy today. So I just take like a little bit. Also, so sad. We had to cut off the nails because like two of them broke, so. 
I got it like a value set. It was worth it to me. Mm -mm. And there you have it, folks. That is my PM nighttime routine. I think it's pretty good for all skin types, except the moisturizer. The moisturizer might depend on your skin type. If you're like more dry or oily, you might want to use like a thinner or like not as thick of a moisturizer, but for me, this one works. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hello, very quickly before we even start, um, I'm very sick right now. The night that I slept, like when I filmed, like I don't know what happened that morning, but like I was throwing up, I was like, Ugh. I got a cold now, like I was so dizzy and I like could not see straight. I'm a little bit better right now, so I'm more gonna film. I just wanted to say that because like if I look really pale and like puffy, that's why. Anyway, we're gonna start. Okay, so first things first, obviously. My hair up, boom. And it's okay, I'm okay to film because like, I need to do my skincare anyway, so. I use an ice cube every single morning. I have not skipped a day using an ice cube. I just I just feel like, I don't know, like it's a necessity. Or I put it around my jaw and like behind my ear and then my under eye because I get puffy. Now that's done. For my next two steps, I use the same products I did last night, which is this toner, and then we're just gonna, you know. Also, I washed my hands before this, so. This one might go by like a little quicker just because, you know, these products are the same. What's more important is like my PM routine because, you know, you have everything throughout the day, like the air pollution and like just dirt and like build up so i think it's important to do it at night mainly but if you want to do it in the morning too that's completely up to you i used to not do it in the morning until recently next use the same moisturizer i don't use that much just because like like i said i feel like night or morning is carry like optional for most people i think Then I use sunscreen. Sunscreen? Oh, okay, never mind. Morning skincare is important. By that, I only mean sunscreen. If you're gonna do anything in the morning, please use sunscreen. Actually, no. Use sunscreen. Not optional, like use sunscreen. Okay, because the number one cause for like our skin to age and like get damaged is actually not using sunscreen. So get yourself some skin. Girl. Get yourself some sunscreen. This is one I use. I think it was like ten to fifteen dollars. This is the Skin One O O Four Hyalocica Water Fit Sun Serum. I just pump it onto my face and like a good amount. I don't know. You should, you could probably use more. But like, I'm gonna be inside all today, so. And this was like super lightweight too. I like this one. It's also important to make sure you do your research on what sunscreen you're buying because some of them are like not good. And that can cause like cancer, I think. So just make sure you're doing your research. Um, like this one's a good one. I got it on Amazon. You can get it on YesStyle or like Korean skincare websites. But I got it on Amazon. Look at that. This is my skin prep, oh my god, um, for my makeup. So yeah, I'm gonna leave your skin glowy. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And just remember that everybody's skin is different. So like, what works for me might not work for you, which is completely okay. You just have to like try out different things and like see which one works best for you. And some people have been requesting it. So this is my skincare routine. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.